This is Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 8. Welcome back to 813. He was the college graduate you often hear about who moved in with his parents, unemployed and broke. Well, that was Grant Sabatier's wake-up call. And by the time he turned 30, he achieved his goal of saving $1 million. He's here to tell us how he did it. Man. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Us. Yeah, Quite a thanks. Story. Yeah, great to be here. Happy to be here. Good morning. So it sounds like this started with a burrito, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, I was like a lot of, you know, 24 year olds. I woke up one morning, 11 a.m., on a hot, sunny uh, summer day, just starving, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do I want? I want some Chipotle. So I yeah. logged into my bank account and realized that I only had $2.26 left. Mm -hmm. uh, needed about three or four times that yeah. to buy a burrito. So wasn't getting a burrito that day. And honestly, that was a huge way wake-up call for me. It was kind of the impetus, yeah. Yeah, and so what did you do? Yeah, um, I realized that I never, I never wanted to feel that way again. So I started. Honestly, I ordered one personal finance book, Your Money or Your Life, oh. uh, and I read it, and it was pretty transformative for me. And I basically thought, hey, you know, if if other people can make a million dollars, I can do right. it too. And so I started on a very aggressive journey to uh, teach myself digital marketing, which was growing in popularity at the time. I knew it was going to yeah. be huge. So teach myself new skills. I started freelancing, uh, and really about three months after that, I. I built my first website for a law firm, uh, wow. and then really that kind of launched me and catapulted me, and I went from building a, a $500 website to three months later, I built a $50,000 website, wow. so it was kind of a really fast track. He eats Chipotle every day, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You, know, exactly. you talk about this side hustle in the book. Yeah. You really t you know, drive that home. Why do you think that's so important? And yeah. Kind of um, a that. lot of people, it's it's pretty hard to get ahead making forty or fifty thousand dollars a year when you do the math, even saving mm -hmm. ten, fifteen percent. It just you, you know you're going to have to work thirty five, forty years to save up enough money to, to maybe retire. And so side hustling, it's really about diversifying your income streams. And I'm a huge proponent of creating as many income streams as possible, mm -hmm. but side hustling to invest, right? So you don't side hustle. You don't say draw, you know become an Uber driver, a babysit, or start a dog walking company, and then just spend that money in your own life, yeah. put all of that money in an investment account, especially when you're young, because the compounding effect yeah. of that dollar over time, every dollar that I put in when I started saving is worth $3 now, that right? So that the, the huge impact of just saving over that period. And, and you just summed up everything that we sort of all intellectually know, but emotionally just don't do. Right. My question to you is, why did you wait till sort of whether the end of college or after college to do all this? Why weren't you doing this your freshman year in college and kind of keep with that kind of hustle. Yeah, um, so I really just wasn't taught how to do this, right? Uh, so they don't have classes in college. I didn't right. learn this in high school. You know, you get out of college, the first job that I got, I made $42,000. And you go from making nothing to $42,000, and you're like, I'm living the life, right? <laughs> you go out and you yeah. just you, you spend it all. Um, and then you quickly realize a few years in, hey, uh, this working thing maybe isn't all that it's cut out to be. I don't think that maybe I can do this for a few more years, but I don't know if I can do this for 35 more years. So that was the huge wake up call for me. Um, and then I'm just really representative of the digital nomad lifestyle, right? So the fact is today the barrier to entry to launch a company online, has it's never been easier, right? To start a side hustle to make mm -hmm. money. You know, you can sure. freelance in a ton of different ways. And so I really took that and used that to my advantage. And I encourage other people to do as well. Very cool. That's cool great. Story. Well, Grant, uh, thanks very much. Uh, save and invest. Save and invest. Right? Yep, as much as you can. And Thank like you. Your, your blog, you kind of, you chronicle your success, but also your mistakes along the way, which is kind of cool. And you can get more tips from uh, Grant on his blog. You can find it at millennialmoney.com. Thanks so much. Thanks, for Grant. Cool yeah, story. thanks. It's a real yeah. pleasure. Right. Yeah, I appreciate here. it.